Hello and welcome to Photoix. In this video I'm going to guide you through how to create a watermark uh, using Lightroom and Photoshop. Now watermark is uh, this area down here. It's usually your name or your logo or your copyright notice stamped onto the image. And there's several purposes for this. Uh, some people use it to guard their photos from people stealing them, copyright issues. Um, and people like me I just use it just to have my name stamped on my images so when I upload it to a website or send it off to someone they know that this is my photo basically just an ego thing I like people to know uh, that this photo was taken by me okay so I'm going to guide you through how to get this text onto your images quickly and easily um, once you've done the first steps in Lightroom uh, you can add this to all your photos really easily so the first thing you need to do is open up your editor. I'm going to use Photoshop and you can see here this is the image I used uh, to create my watermark. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you step by step how to make something similar to this. So the first thing you need to do is go to File and New to create a new document. Give it a name name it something obvious so you can uh, find it again later. I'm going to give mine a width of 800 pixels and a height of 200 pixels and then make sure this background content is selected as transparent. That's very important. And once we've done that, click OK. Okay, so here's our transparent box and this is what we're going to use to write our text in. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create uh, a new layer and uh, the reason I'm going to do this is because when I write the text in in a grey colour it's going to be very hard to see it on this transparent uh, background. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and I'm going to fill that with uh, the bucket tool and I'm just going to select black and I'm going to fill that with black and then I'm going to drag that layer down to the bottom and I'm just going to rename this colour just so I can keep tracks on it. And um, when it comes to finishing the watermark I'm actually going to delete this layer completely. Okay so once you've done that you can then go ahead and click on your text uh, choose your font and your font size and whatever colour you wish do mine in a sort of a metallic grey. Just draw out your text box and then type whatever you want, your logo or uh, your name. So I'm just going to put Photoix in there. And then just move it roughly into the middle. And then I'm going to create uh, another text box underneath. And write in the date. Again, just line it up. I'm only doing this very roughly, very basic, just to show you. Okay, so that's our rough watermark. Uh, it's nothing special, looks a bit boring. Um, so, what I'm going to do, as you can see on mine, you can just vaguely see it on this photo, I've actually got a line underneath the uh, name between the date. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to create another new layer coming down here and go to the line tool and if you hold down the shift key and drag your line it will keep it perfectly straight. And just move this so it's roughly centre. Move the date. I think also what I'm going to do is just make that date a bit smaller. It's a bit better. Obviously, as I said, this is just very basic uh, stuff just to show you the steps. You can spend a lot more time with different text effects, even images, photos, uh, clip art, whatever you want to make it really stand out. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much the finished text I want. So 
So I'm just going to crop this down to a smaller size with the crop tool. And click the tick. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's it. So now what I need to do is get rid of this black background so it comes back to the transparent background. So come over to color and delete it. Yes. As you can see, it's gone back to the transparent background. And you can just see the text in the back there. Uh, once you're happy with this and you're sure you don't want to do any more editing, right click uh, on the layers palette and uh, merge visible. That will merge all the layers down into one, uh, ready for saving. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this now. So go to file and save as. Um, you want to save this as a PNG. You don't want to save it as a JPEG. Uh, you can also save it as a GIF here, yeah, but um, PNG I find it's a bit a uh, bit better format to work with. So click on PNG. As you can see, it's got the name. And I'm going to click Save. Click OK, and that's now saved. So we can now close down Photoshop and open up Lightroom. Now in Lightroom what we need to do to uh, get that watermark on our images is we actually need to set up our watermark uh, to start with. So come up to edit and you'll see here at the bottom it says edit watermarks. So click on that and it will bring up this pane here. And you can see on the right here it says watermark style text or graphic. Um, if you don't want to go through the hassle of making the graphic like we just did, you can just type your text in, your name or whatever, and just use that. But because we've made our graphic, I'm going to click graphic, and it will pop up with the box. Find where you saved it to, and click choose. Now if you've got really good eyesight, you'll just see it down here in the corner. That's actually put our little picture that we made and put it down on the corner there. Just to show you, I'm going to make this big. As you can see, the transparent background is uh, made the watermark transparent. So there's no horrible black or white uh, blocks. It's just the text. Now, um, watermarking is a very personal thing. Uh, I personally like to have it quite small down in the corner. You can, of course, have it as big as you want, as small as you want. Um, you can uh, change the opacity of it so it blends into the image. But I'm going to create it like I've got my other ones. I'm just going to have it nice and small down in the bottom. I often like to change this, the inset, I usually put it on 2 for horizontal and 2 for vertical. This just moves the watermark away from the edge of the picture a bit. Um, that's especially good if you're printing your images with your watermark, so it just gives you a bit of leeway if your prints get cropped slightly. Um, and here you can choose wherever you want the image, in the center or in the corners. What I've actually done is I've created four different presets for each corner. So I've got uh, bottom left, which is obviously down here, and I've gone to save, and I've saved that as a preset called bottom left. And I've created another one for bottom right, etc. For this one, I'm just going to uh, create the bottom left. So once you've got your image where you want it, uh, you've got the size you want, and you've got the insert that you want, you just come to save, and then give it a name. Click create, and that is your watermark created. Now to apply that watermark to your image, you first need to export your image uh, as a JPEG or as any other file type. Um, 
I'll go through that now if you don't know how to export your images from Lightroom. So we go to File, Export, and as you can see here, it's got uh, all my other lists of presets. I have to create a new preset here because I, uh, I've only got it set up for my other watermarks. So I'm going to go to add, call it photoics, and create, and I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And you can see down here it's got watermarking, and you click on this list and it comes up with all the presets that you've saved in the uh, previous watermarking box, and you can see here Photoex watermark. So we click on that, and once you're happy with everything, just click export. So that has now exported our JPEG image with the watermark attached, and here it is on my desktop. And you can see down here the rather crude, but it's still there. The watermark is there, so it's easy as that. Uh, once you've actually created the watermark image and created your presets for wherever you want your watermark, it's incredibly easy to apply your watermark. Um, and of course, you can do that in batches. You don't have to do it image by image. You could select every image in your uh, catalog and do it all at once. So it's a really good, easy way of watermarking, watermarking your images. Like I said, in Photoshop, you can do much more extravagant things than what I've just done here. You can have uh, text with different effects, you can have pictures, you can create your own logo, um, you could even make it so you have an entire bar across the bottom of the picture with all your details on. It's really uh, limitless to what you can do. I just wanted to quickly show you how to get uh, a very basic watermark. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or any uh, comments, uh, please just either email me or leave a reply in the comments box. I um, hope this was helpful. Thanks very much.